Oh my goodness. Welcome to part two of today's chat on stress. The importance, as I said earlier, is feel it, accept it, embrace it, and then celebrate it. And I wanted to post this behind me here. This was in one of my darkest moments where I was berating myself to no end. I would wake up in the morning, look in the mirror, and convince myself of how horrible I looked. So I came into my little craft room, that's my laundry room, my storage room, my writing room, my jewelry making room, and my canvas painting room. And it's like an 11 by 10, so you could figure out the mess that's in there. But then I call it my creative endeavors of locations of my many things. I know where they're all at, so it's okay. I have to clean it. So anyway... This, I, I painted this, and my son-in-law, being the clown that he is, asked me if she popped out of a hat. Well, no. <laughs> just thinking about that, I'm just going to slap him next time he comes over. But I make my own frames as well. Um, it is part of my de-stressing, my creativeness. Um, I work a lot with my hands. So a friend of mine, Jill, uh, who helped build this porch that I'm on and also uh, rebuild my bathroom so that it's wheelchair accessible. He's awesome. Uh, he bought me one of those uh, saws, the mini saws, so that I can cut the wood to create my frames for my art because I was using a meter saw and you know what? That was very exhausting. So I won't recommend that unless you want to build those real big muscles. But how funny would I look with big arms and then, anywho. So, I painted her, and I think she's a beauty. And I painted her, um, let's say, last March, and I had her just ticked, tacked to the wall without a frame. And when I, when I started saying, you know, I'm going to do this, I have to acknowledge and I have to accept. I have to embrace my extra pounds and celebrate me today so that, you know what, it'll be easier to come off with the clean eating and the yoga. I believe now with every effort that I'm putting into myself because I am loving myself pound for pound. So that's a lot of loving right now, let me tell you. But as I'm doing that, and then I said, you know what, she needs to be framed. And she's actually hangs in my room by my bed and the wall above it. So every night when I'm coming to bed, she's right above my lamp. So I look at her every night and I say, you're beautiful. You're beautiful. You know why? Because she is a reflection of me. So I look at her and I, and she's, when I painted her, I painted what I wanted to be, where I wanted to be in my life, where I wanted to say, you know what? Fuck it. I'm fat. And that's okay. Because although I have extra pounds, I'm still healthy. I still can do what I have to do. I just have to do a little more for me so that I don't have to feel this way about myself. Being fat isn't always unhealthy, but for me, because it's it's extra weight on my body frame, then I don't like it. I just don't like it. I just don't like it. Everybody has this preference, but being fat doesn't mean you're greedy or you're lazy. And that's something that we have to also put out there with all this bullying. Being fat does not mean that you're greedy or you're lazy. Extra pounds comes with many, many trials of life and as I mentioned earlier with the stress stress of life sometimes some people are lucky like my daughter Tiff she gets stressed out she loses weight like how is she my child I, I still don't understand anywho so here I call her celebration let me see if I, you can show her a little and again I use a lot of yellows because it makes me happy so pick a color that makes you happy and put it all over the place. So in every room that you walk in in your house, you're going to see that color and it's going to make you smile. So can I please suggest that you choose your color that makes you smile, that makes you happy. Because once that color, you see that color and it makes you smile and it's like, wow, it puts a bounce in your stuff. And guess what? You're set pretty much for the day. So try to have that color everywhere at work, in your car, at home. Because although I don't wear yellow, because you know, I just don't wear yellow, but I love to see it all over the place. And I paint it a lot. This in orange, and, and tomorrow you'll see my orange painting. But so here she is sitting on a bench, our Janice, a bench, 
uh, and and the blue, the blue because I associate blue with with coldness, and and right now when we when we talk bad to ourselves, when we degrade ourselves, it, it's a coldness. Like our heart is cold for that moment, and it's being mean to us. So, guess what I did? I sat my ass right on that coldness and says, "Uh uh-uh, no mas, no mas. Today, I am going to feel all those rows. I am going to accept that I have those rows. And then I am going to embrace the beauty of my rows because they are a part of me right now. They are part of me, so I'm going to embrace them. And then I celebrate it by painting it. I celebrated all of me by painting it. And no, my ass isn't that big, but you know, we could always help. And there she is. This is before I cut all my hair off, but here she is. And she's sitting on that bench, butt booty ass naked, saying, that's right, I love me. And she's swaying, and that's where you see her. I captured her. In my mind, I captured her swaying, and that's why she looks like that. But she's out there. She put herself out there, and she's swaying with joy. And all the colors you see inside of her is all her positive energies, just just running back and forth with excitement that they're finally being acknowledged. Do that for yourself. Do that. From my art, I create greeting cards, and I sell those in a package of 10. So if you're interested in any of the paintings that you're going to see on this series, they are also greeting cards. So you can also call me, email me, text me, leave a message. But please subscribe and hit like. And and then we can we can get together. Um, and like your first time purchase, you'll get 10% off. I sell 10 greeting cards for 15, but you get 10% off your first time purchase with me. Um, because I want you to have something that's going to bring you happiness. And if I can be the, the starting point of you practicing your daily mantra of saying, I am everything that I am supposed to be at this moment in my now, then I would be honored, honored to be a part of that life with you and you will be a part of my life by listening to me and and corresponding with me in any way shape or form through email text facebook the leaving messages uh, underneath this video or call me and you know i make the best cafe con leche so if you're in my area you can always stop by for a cup of coffee but this this is called celebration and um, i think she's beautiful and I, like I said, I frame my own. I can't ship right now because I also make my own boxes and they're a hot mess. And I really don't have time for every little detail. Like I said earlier, I think I can do it all, but honey, I cannot. So that's her celebration. And then I scattered. I'm going to bring you a little closer before I close. And I apologize. Um, I think I'm going to get a new phone that will hold longer videos and it won't cut me off in the middle of my words. Um, but just bear with me and we'll get better. We'll get better together. Okay, I'm going to bring you close and then I'm going to close. But before I close, I want you to write this down. Because remember what they say, if you think it, ink it, believe it, and you'll achieve it. It's that simple. You are in control of your own happiness, of your own destiny, if and whenever you put God first. That's very important. Now, let me tell you something. I speak a lot about God. And yes, I curse a lot. I smoke. I have tattoos. And anybody would label me a heathen. And I might be because, you know, I told you, I have issues. But Jesus loves me. He loves me and he's present in my life because I accept him in my life. I acknowledge him. I celebrate him. And that's what he wants us to do with ourselves. So wherever you're at, at this moment, feel it. Acknowledge it. Accept it. And celebrate me, gente celebrate the beauty of you because you are here because you have a purpose you have a purpose and let's share it let's create love all around us because you give you only get what you give so the more you give free of any point keeping if you give from your heart expecting nothing in return you will receive an abundance of love 
And you know what? That's what we really need. You know, living the minimalist life. We don't need all these tangible material things to make us. You know, true happiness coming from within. You know, we have to work from the inside out. And then being around people that bring you joy. That you, you can bounce off each other. Positivity. But remember, as I said earlier, we need the negativity every now and again. Because in order to enjoy that sweetness, we must, we must go through the sour. There's no, you cannot receive any goodness unless you know what it is not to have that joy. So, yang yang, before you can enjoy the sweet, you will. Just like they say, you know, the, the sun will rise after the storm. And th that's how it is in life. So accept what you're going through right now. And if you accept it and you acknowledge it and you allow yourself to feel it, and I'm scrambling it because that's just how I am. And then you celebrate it. Guess what? You're coming out on top. Regardless of how deep you think you're in the hole, you're going to always come out on top. So I leave you with this. Namaste, mi gente. Thank you for being a part of my life. And we'll see each other tomorrow. And remember to hit like, subscribe, write a comment. Let's talk. Let's keep this going. So I will close with showing you Miss Celebration here. And then we'll take it from here. And I'll see you mañana. Ciao. And here she is. Uh, uh, uh. I tell you, I got to learn this. But here she is in her full glory. Full of joy. The joy is just coming out of her all over the place. And that's how we need to do. We need to walk into a room and our aura is shouting out to everybody. I own my now with the biggest smile you have. Hasta mañana. Ciao.